Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Come on, y'all. Let's just give it up for Jesus in this moment. Come on. Come on. He's faithful on this morning. He is faithful on this morning. He woke us up. He started us on our way. Come on. How many of you know that he kept you in the right mind? You didn't lose it on last night. Come on. You didn't even lose it at 5 o'clock this morning. But he kept us. Come on. He kept us this morning and we are so excited. Good morning, you two. Come on in and invite some friends. Come on. Invite some friends on this morning. Y'all know how we do it. We give glory to God because that's where the glory goes to. We give glory to only God. We don't take none of God's glory. Amen. 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 We are going to start off our Bible lesson on this morning with a word of prayer. And prayer to me is a conversation that we have with God. We are going to conversate with God on this morning. We're going to do something a little different. Konai, I need you to find me some worship music. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and open up this this Bible lesson on this morning with a conversation. Eternal Father, eternal God. Lord God, it was you, God, that made everything. Yes, Lord. God, you created the heaven. Yes, Lord. You created the earth. You created everything that's in it, and you created me. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I am willing and I am ready to be used by you, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, most most importantly, God, I want you to be able to get the glory out of all of our lives, God. Yes, Lord. That whatever it is that we speak, Father God, our speech will be likened to your speech. Yes, Lord. God, everything we say, Father God, allow it to only be your words and not ours. Yes, Lord. God, we ask you, Father, on this morning that you penetrate hearts, God. That you penetrate the minds of your people, God. A lot of us, Father God, are living in this life empty. But we ask you, Father God, that you come in and you fill us, God. We know, God, that your word, it washes, it cleans, it creates an atmosphere, Father God, of worship and praise. And on this morning, Father God, we want to worship. We want to give your name to praise, God. Most importantly, God, we have to do this in spirit and truth, God. So we ask you, God, that you place the right spirit within us. Clean us and create in us a new mind, God. Just as David prayed, God, we ask you to wash us and cleanse us as white as snow, God. Hide and cover, Father God, our sin by washing it away, God. We ask you for your forgiveness on this morning, God. Yes, we ask you that you forgive every transgressions, every trespass, God, every iniquity that we have committed in our minds, work, and deeds, God. We ask you, God, to allow us this moment, this opportunity to mortify the deeds of our flesh, God. We do away with all sin right now, Father God, and yes, we open up ourselves to you, God. We're coming into you empty, Father, because yes, we know we're going to leave this place full. Yes, God, we ask you to bless every viewer on today, God, that they be encouraged, Father, by your words. Yes. We ask you, God, that you encourage them on today, Father, with the word that is so well and fine with their hearts and mind, God, that they go out and share it with somebody else. We just bless you so much, Father God, and we thank you for this time that you allow us to get things right before you, God. We just thank you for this opportunity to be here to get things together again. We just thank you for this opportunity, God, to be able to mend, Father God, what was broken. We just thank you so much for the love and the kindness that you have shared and you stored upon us, Father, so we can share it and store it upon somebody else. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you so much, God, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want everybody today to get excited. Yeah. Everybody, I need for you to get excited on today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. (laughs) I wanted to start this session off with the worship music, but y'all know how it is when you're in the house and your and your internet is is acting all weird because it's raining outside. Yeah. The weather is bad. The internet doesn't want to connect. Amen. Amen. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up today. We're going to be coming from Genesis the first chapter. Mm. Genesis 1. 
We're going to start at the very first verse and we're going to end at the fifth. Amen. Amen. Genesis 1 and 1. Now, Chris, I, I need your help on this morning. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to sing you because we're going to move around a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be sending you to um to a few books, a few chapters in the Bible and verses, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. The Bible says, in the beginning, somebody said beginning. Beginning. Amen. God created. Somebody said God created. God created. The heaven and the earth. Now, we're going to take our time with this one this morning. Is that all right? That's all right. Okay. Notice that I'm talking about a beginning. Mm-hmm. The beginning of time. That's what the word of God is talking about. When we are introduced into the book of Genesis, Genesis means the beginning. That's right. All right. Mm-hmm. There is a Hebrew word for a beginning, and that's Bereshit, okay? Mm-hmm. In beginning. I know that sounds crazy because we, we add the the, okay? We add a conjunction. The word the, that's a connector word, okay? So we say in the beginning in English, but in Hebrew it's Bereshit, all right? That's in beginning. Mm-hmm. Who did I say created? God. God God created. And the Hebrew, the word create it, like he created, is bara. All right? Better sheet, bara. All right? Mm-hmm. Better sheet, bara. That's in beginning, create. Mm-hmm. Created. God did this. Okay? Mm-hmm. Can anybody tell me on this morning what create means? Can anybody? Made. Made. You said create means made. First made. First made? What do you say? Um, she said right to make. To make? Create can mean manufactured. It can mean generate. Make, just as y'all indicated, form, mold, shape. Mm. You understand that on this morning? Uh That's what that means on today. Now, we're talking about our father on this morning. Mm. We're talking about our king on this morning. This is someone that created something for us. That's right. The second verse says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit, somebody says Spirit. The Spirit. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The word of God in our English is spirit. And the Hebrew is ruach. Mm. Is ruach. And what that means is wind, spirit, breeze, air, soul, That's good. mind. Somebody said breathe. Breathe. Your ruach. Your ruach. In me. In me. God, he used the spirit to move upon the face of the waters. The Bible says, and God said, let there be light. And the light, and there was light. Somebody said there was light. There There was was light. light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided. Somebody said God divided. God God divided. The light from darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was the what day? First day. The first day. Talking about the beginning. And who created it. 
Chris, if you would, please go with me to Acts. Find me Acts 17 and 24. God is amazing on this morning. Yes, he is. I was having a conversation with God on the other day. And there were some questions that I went to my father about. A lot of times people make us feel so guilty about going to God, asking him questions. That's right. Why in the world would you question God? My husband, Minister Chris, on yesterday, he had a title, it was entitled, he had a topic on yesterday, a message that was entitled, What is Communion? Mm -hmm. And we simply talked on yesterday about communion, as we were told when we were younger, it was about the bread and the the grape juice Mm -hmm. or the wine when entering into the church on Communion Sunday. But they never taught us that communion meant relationship. That's good. They never taught us that before you can actually take communion with God, you got to first have a communication with him. Meaning relationship. You got to talk to God. Have a relationship with him because there is a right and a wrong way to do this thing. That's right. You can end up taking communion and you can cause sickness or death to yourself because you took it the wrong way. That's right. So in order... To know if I'm doing this right, if I'm communicating with God right, you gotta first have a relationship with Him and talk to Him. That's right. That's good. So I had a conversation. I was communing with my God, Uh my Father, my friend, my everything. And there was a question that I asked Him about voids. Come on. How many of you, I don't know but nobody else, but I always find myself continuously to go back to Genesis. How many of you keep finding yourself to go back into Genesis? You say, you know, I'm going to open my Bible up today. You want to go to Psalms. You want to go to Proverbs. You want to go to Ecclesiastes. You want to go to the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. You want to go to Revelation. You, you ready to get to the end. But something, somehow within you said, go back to the beginning. That's good. If you keep finding yourself back to the beginning on today, know it's God leading you back because it's something we're missing. That's good. We're missing something on today. I am going to share with you what God shared with me about what we are missing. But before I do that, Chris, please read for me Acts 17 and 24. Acts 17, 24. God that made the world and all things therein seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands he is not dwelling in temples that are made by hands Mm. we're talking about our creator on today that's right I said God why is it why is it We oftentimes feel voids. Mm -hmm. And this is what God shared with me. He said, darling, I always send you back to the beginning of the Bible simply because I want you to understand that it was me that created. Mm -hmm. Not you yourself. Come on. He shared with me that There is a void because we can't expect to live in darkness and be filled. Mm. He said, I have given plenty examples Mm -hmm. about how life should be lived. That's right. And I use many words to show and share with you guys what it's like. That's right. Do anybody know what comparison means? To compare something? What does it mean? Um, to like compare means like... Can you talk a little louder for us this morning? Compare means like to... To compare like two things uh-huh. and see which one is better. So you're taking two things, you're putting it side by side, uh-huh. 
and you're and you're comparing it because it's similar to each other, right? right? So here it is. This is what God is doing for us on this morning. And I pray that you receive what he is showing us and what he is sharing in this hour. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That's right. And the earth was without form and void. Right? Mm-hmm. The Bible said, and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. God said, let there be light, didn't That's he? Right. Yes, he did. And there became what? Light. 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 God saw that the light was what? Good. He separated the light and the darkness from each other, correct? That's right. The light he called day and the dark he called night. Mm-hmm. Come on, we're going to do some comparison on the day. If any of you in this place have a void in your life, mm-hmm. know that there's something in you that's dark. If any of you have a void in your life, know that the thing that is missing is God. You keep searching, you keep trying to find. Yes, Lord. But he is the, the void that's, he's the, he's the spot that's missing. And your empty voids. There is darkness that's inside. So what he's trying to do right now is shed light. And he is that light. You're going to need him. That's right. That's right. But once he placed his rock, his spirit within you, mm-hmm. then you begin to be able to see because the light is on. My God. You couldn't see because everything was dark. Right. So here it is. He's separating. Once he places his spirit within you, he is separating something. Mm-hmm. He separated the darkness. And that's why in the Bible it says some of these things was us. When it says that fornicators and drunkards and effeminate men cannot right. enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. that's some right. of these things were us, but we were washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, which that's is right. Christ Jesus. That's right. So when he separates the darkness, here comes the light. That's it. Have you ever stumbled in your room when it was dark? Anybody? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe on the outside, you said, oh, mama, daddy, please turn on the light outside because I'm trying to find something. Come on, God. Come on with it. I'm trying to find something, but you couldn't see it because it was what? Dark. It was dark. Mm -hmm. But once the light cut on, once the light cut on, you say, oh, here it goes. It's right there. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's trying to shed light in your dark places on today. That's good. Sometimes when it's dark in the house, somebody said when a storm is going on. Mm. Mm. That's good. When it's dark in the house, mama or daddy said go get the candles. The lights just cut off. That's right. Or somebody said, go ahead, let's plug up the generator. Uh-huh. Let's crank up the generator. Because mm-hmm. the light has cut off. Who do you know on today want to live in the dark to the point they can't see? Even the blind. Open your mouth in this place. Uh-huh. Even the blind that can't see. Uh-huh. They're taking their fingers to read Braille. That's good. The word of God says, we're we're groping Mm -hmm. for the walls like the blind does. Mm. We're stumbling. We're stumbling because why? We can't see. Mm. When it's noonday, We're falling all over the place as if it's night. Mm. The Bible says we are in desolate places like dead men. The word of God, for those of you that do not know the scripture, says we grope for the wall Mm -hmm. like we are blind. We grope as if we have no eyes. We stumble in noonday as it was night. We are in desolate places like dead men. A desolate place can be very lonely and dry. Come on, come on, that's right. A desolate place is very dark. Come on, teach it. 
How is it it's daytime where, where the light is here and he's living? He's risen from the dead. How is it we're stumbling like we don't know who he is? My Lord. But it's simply because there's something missing out of your life that you think that you have. Mm. And his name is Jesus. Come on. It's good. It's good. Why, God, do I have a void this morning? Why did I have a void last night? Mm. Why have I been living with void for months and for years? He said, because you need the light. I love the story that talks about the five wise and the five foolish. That's right. That's right. You have the groom that was coming mm -hmm. to town. Work the text, work the text. But the five wise, I believe, within that story knew that they needed the light. Mm -hmm. In order to keep the light, they had to have the oil. That's right. But the five foolish said, well, I'll just keep the light. I don't need the oil. Have you ever heard people say, I don't need to be in church. I don't got to go to church uh -huh. just to continue to keep my relationship with Jesus. I don't need to pray today just to have a relationship with Jesus. I don't need to be doing all of that. Mm -hmm. It don't take all of that. The Bible allows us to know that we ought not to forsake the assembly of one another. That's right. Don't forsake the assembly of communicating and having a relationship with each other. That's good. That's good. The Bible says we ought to pray without ceasing. That means that we have to always be praying. Mm -hmm. Come on now. The five foolish didn't have the oil for the light to continue to stay lit. So they ran out of oil. Somebody said they ran out of oil. They ran out of oil. But then they wanted to ask the five wise. Come on, Jesus. I feel you up in this place on this morning. They wanted to ask the five wise. Can I whoo, borrow some of your oil? Come on with it. But I love how the text said they were wise. Yes. They were. I'm too wise to fall up. Your foolishness. <laughs> it would be foolish for me uh -huh. to give you oil. And when it's time to go in with the grooming, mm -hmm. I'm empty. I don't have a light because you took it from me. Mm. The Bible says for us not to stand in the way. Somebody said, he said, don't stand in the way. Don't stand in the way. Don't say it, stand in the way of the sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Forgive us. There's too many people standing in the way. Forgive us, oh God. Of us seeing the light. God, we got voids on this morning. Jesus. You know how it is, Talia. When you say, God, I'm trying to reach the top of this mountain. Just as Paul said, I love, uh, y'all, I love to, to quote this scripture because I love what Paul said. He said, I press towards the mark right. of the prize for the prize of the high calling, mm. which is in Christ Jesus. I press towards the mark, God. I'm, I'm going towards the mountain because I know, God, the end, what it's going to be. I know, God, that if I continue this race, God, I might not be fast. I might not be strong, but if I can continue to the end, God, I know what the end is going to be. Come on. Avoid. God, I got so many young men on my age, God, that I'm looking up to. So many young women on my age I'm looking after. But, God, they're hindering my walk. I can't see. Come on. That's good. Avoid. That's good. God, who do I follow? The word of God said he's given us leaders. Mm -hmm. He's given us shepherds. That's good right after there. his own heart. That's good right there. God, who do I follow? 
Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. So if you're following anybody on today that is not following Christ, they're leading you into a ditch because they're blind. Oh, Somebody shout void. Void. There's a void there in our life. And we cannot see what it is because we don't have the light. Once you get into the knowledge and the understanding of who Jesus is. Once you come to know him. Once you come into the knowledge and the understanding of who he is. That's right. You will begin to start seeing. I dare y'all on this morning to touch your eyes. I want y'all to realize that there was a word, there was a scripture in the Bible that talks about this blind man. Who couldn't see. And Jesus used. I consider this medicine. By spitting on the ground. And using the sand off the ground. To touch this man's eyes. My Lord. Jesus then asked the man. What. Do you see. Mm. The man. Implied that I see men as trees. Mm. Jesus then told him, look again. And the man began to see clearly. Oh I want you to touch your eyes on this morning and say, God, God open my eyes. Open my eyes. So I can see. So I can see. God, God, fill my empty void. Fill my empty void. Today, today, I receive, I receive your light. Your light. I walked in darkness. I walked in darkness. Too long. Too long. I'm stumbling. I'm stumbling. I'm hurting myself. I'm hurting. Myself. I'm, hurting others. I'm hurting others. I'm hurting others. I'm leading people. I'm leading. People. And I can't see. And I can't. See. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. So I can see. So I can see. Breathe. Breathe. In me. In me. In the name. In the name. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Breathe. Breathe. In me. In me. I can see the light. Mm. I can see the light. Coming. I can see the light. I can see the light. Shining. I can see the light. How many of you can see the light on the day? Yes, Lord. Yes. How many of you can see the light on today? Yes. A lot of times when we go into the Word of God, we need to ask Him before we go into the Word. God, give me the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that only you can give it to me, God, about your Word. God, I, I need you, God, to open up my eyes, God, so I can see, God. Open up my spiritual insight, God. Give me wisdom, God, and your Word, it says, God, if I'm lacking wisdom, I can come to you and seek you for it, God. I'm calling on your name, God, while you are near, while you're still yet able to be found, God. Open up my heart, God, so I can be able to receive you because this heart within me is a stone, God. I'm cold and I can't feel. God, open up my ears. God, take out the spiritual earplugs so I can hear you. God, there is a void. We are crying out to God on today. We're crying out to God on today that God, don't only open my vision, but open my sister, my brother's vision too, so they can see. It's a hurtful thing to see your loved ones living living in darkness My God. because you can also see what the end is going to be for them God is filling our boys on this morning and he has filled it if you ask them if you believe that on this morning by opening up your mouth and confessing it believing that within your heart which is your mind a lot of times we got to be transformed by the renewal of our mindset. Come on. You got to believe this thing within yourself. Yes. That every time I open up the scripture and I read what God is saying unto me. That I know whatever it is that he said is going to happen is going to be done. Yes, Lord. 
When God tell me thou shalt not, I know not to do it. That's it. When God says thou shalt go, I know that I should start walking. Mm-hmm. When he said that I can be anything through Christ Jesus, I know that I'm more than able. That's right. Because he has equipped me. He has prepared me. There are so many of us using scriptures to justify our whole situation, but there's no justification. Come on. Are you preaching? The word is exactly what it says it is. Well, Stasia, there's a time frame for everything. You know, when, when I'm reading the Bible and they were talking about burnt sacrifices, the Bible, it declares that he does not receive the burnt sacrifice anymore. You have to understand that he is showing you those scriptures to show you who is the real sacrifice. You don't need burnt offerings anymore. You don't need the bloody animals anymore because Jesus, he was that sacrifice. When you hear him talk about the lamb, it's leading up to him being the lamb that was sacrificed on that cross for us. Yes, Lord. Who bled and died for us. Yes, Lord. How could we treat a God? How can we treat our father who's given his life on the cross for us so that we wouldn't die? How can we treat him the way we've been treating him? We are treating him treacherously. He doesn't deserve these treatments. God, fill my void so I can begin to love again. Yes, Lord. Fill my empty void, God, so I can be able to share the good news again. Yes, Lord. Fill my empty void, God, so I can start giving again to the need. Yes, Lord. The needy. Yes, Lord. God is here. Yes, he is. He's always here. Well, how do you know? The Bible says that he will never leave us. Nor will God forsake us. That's it. He is not the God nor the son of man that he will lie to us. Mm-hmm. Fill our voids on today. Yes, Lord Jesus. How many of you Lord. enjoy the word? Yes, Lord. How many of you enjoying the presence of the Lord on today? Yes, Lord. How many of you enjoying his presence on today? Come on and put our yes, hands together. Because he didn't have to do it. Yes, Lord. He didn't have to share it. Come yes, on. Lord. He didn't have to encourage. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He don't have to do it for us on the day. Thank you, Lord. But I want you all to be encouraged. I want you all to allow this message to penetrate your hearts. Yes, Lord Jesus. Sometimes we want to leave from church, Mm -hmm. leave from the Bible studies. Leave the phone calls where the conversation has been holy the whole time and we have been communicating and conversating about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for us and yes, what we shouldn't do. And then yes, we leave off the phone to go put all type of extra garbage back, in. back into our bodies, Come on. back into our minds. Y'all, I have an aunt and I thank God for my aunt. Her name is Vinya. You got to give honor where honor is due. That's right. My aunt used to oftentimes say to me, she said, you're not a trash king. Stop letting people put inside of you their trash. Stop letting them dispose trash into you like you some trash king. Uh And I took that and I applied that to my life. I'm not about to allow you to put your trash Mm. into my mind. I'm not about to allow you to do that to me. You're not going to do that to me because once you don't put your trash inside me, then I'm sitting there with burden. I'm burdened all down and then you living free. No. God God is, he is, he's amazing. Yes, he is. Yes, he, is. he is amazing. There's no way we can leave this place and allow somebody to call us to place their trash into our 
bodies and our souls mm -hmm. when God has already filled that void. That's right. He's already filled it. So we don't have no room for trash. That's right. Now we can get up. Somebody to get up. Get up. And allow that word to live within you. Yes, Lord. Allow it to rise. That's right. Over any circumstance that you have going on today, allow it to rise. That's good. I'm about to end this segment simply because God has done. He's came in and do what he needed to do. Because it don't take him all day. That's right. Does anybody, anybody in the room, and trust me, I know it's too much meat. <laughs> I know it's so much we can eat. I know it's so much we can say and share. But do anybody have anything that they want to share on this morning? Anybody? I need you to be loud so everyone can hear. Come on, we're about to end this. You can't see without the light. Come on, let's give our hand clap on this morning. Right. You cannot see without the light. Can okay. you tell us on this morning, Wendy, what is the light? The light is God. The light is God. Amen. Uh, I have learned that we can't see in the dark and we stumble because we can't see mm -hmm. and we can't live in the darkness and be filled. God removes us from the darkness and brings us into the light. Amen. Amen. He removes us from the darkness Come on. and he brings us to the light. Mm. You got friends that's living in the darkness. You got family members that are living in the darkness. That's and he's true. telling you, come from amongst them and be ye separate, says the Lord. Amen. Right. Let's give her a hand clap on this morning for that. All right. All right. Man, it's so much meat, man. I... I... I have really grasped the concept that, you know, I think we spoke about this maybe a year or two ago when I was, when you got me on, um, put on blast Wednesday and I was talking about us being the light. Yes. Um, but now the way you brought it up today is, is from a different aspect. Yeah, God, we know God is the light and he's the light of the world. But a lot of times we hear that, but we never internalize that he is the light. Mm. And by internalizing it today, what you what you broke out today, what you shared today, lets me know that, you know, not only am I supposed to let my light shine so others can see. Uh-huh. I'm supposed to let God's light shine so he can drive out the darkness within me. Come on, Bishop. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That, that, I'm just going to chew on that one. Yes. Yes. On that one. Talia, you want to say anything? A lot of times the presence can be so heavy and you could want to talk. The songwriter said, if I couldn't say a word, I'll come just on. come on. Everybody wave your hands. Wave your hand. Come on. Come on. All right. You two. We are about to end this segment. We thank you so much for coming in and tuning into our channel on today. We thank you so much for believing the words that God is sharing to us to share with you. We thank you so much for believing God. Because we don't get the glory he does. That's right. There is nothing that we can say that is of our own. It all belongs to him. That's right. Have a good day.